coming without any change. Uh, like it's caused like the frustration in the youth of Western Sahara. But also we had never lost the hope and the dream of living in a free, uh, free Western Sahara. Uh, this uh, because of despite uh, the suffering and the obstacles that Sahara youth faced during their growing up in environments in which, uh, in which is almost impossible to live in. Like for example, now in summertime, the high temperatures like could kill you. And also let us uh, don't forget that the Sahrawi people uh, totally uh, depends on the humanitarian aid that the organizations uh, give to them to in order to live. Despite all of this, the will of the Sahrawi youth didn't break uh, their determination uh, because their determination was about all of that. Hope everything, the majority of the youth having a career uh, because they, uh, they believed they believed uh, that with science, they could take back their freedom. Because uh, my, during my study, I were not just like uh, an ordinary students who came in to uh, get a diploma and left, left no. Uh, I was like uh, the ambassador of my case. And so uh, was every Sahrawi student, wherever he was. Uh, for being honest, not the all, only the Sahrawi students were like the ambassadors. In one or another, being a student or not, you will always find us trying to introduce from uh, where we came from. That's for, uh, and after we finish our studies, like we face frustration again. Uh, we don't have where to use and apply our uh, our educational attainments. Here we are, we are our perspective perspective changed from believing that we are believing that we can change uh, or uh, get our freedom with science. Uh, it it uh, changed after we get our diploma. Our uh, yes. And uh, we start to believe that our rights in freedom should be taken and not given. Unlike the youth of the world, the Sahra youth in the refugee camps, volunteers, like uh, they didn't uh, apply for a work or uh, to have a salary. No, they volunteer uh, uh, to work in the state institutions in order to ensure the continuity of the message, the peaceful message. Uh, also, uh, life in the camps has been uh, almost the same. If uh, you uh, may uh, let me say that uh, it was the same since 1991, the uh, emissary after another and nothing changed. But I think that from 30 November 2020, everything had changed because it's like I consider it like a, a changing point or a turning point in the conflict of Western Sahara and Morocco. Because uh, after the Moroccan ar uh, army entered into the uh, demilitarized uh, uh, town of Gergeret, uh, the Sahrawi, uh, the, Sahrawi uh, the Sahrawi authorities responded by declaring the Kasfaya agreement uh, has been broken. Broken, sorry. So, uh, so since that, and uh, nothing is the same anymore. Military schools were were crowded by volunteers. Uh, markets were empty and the chance of women rising above the, uh, the refugee camps. 
I remember that the morning, if, uh, as if it is yesterday, I played uh, for my phone as I used to every morning, and uh, I shocked by the uh, the news. I had a mixed feelings between uh, a joy and uh, I don't know, anxiety because I, I want my freedom back, but uh, no, uh, like I, I don't want it in a, a bloody way. I want like, uh, I want my people uh, to live, uh, all of us, none uh, having to uh, sacrifice their lives because we are in like, uh, we are in a time that we can, we could, not we can, we could uh, gain our freedom without losing any lives. And that uh, didn't happen. Uh, so uh, uh, 19 years uh, of absolute nothing is uh, enough, I think. Uh, I think that uh, our, uh, my people had enough. Their, uh, their patients uh, is uh, like they gain nothing with their patients because they uh, 20 years, 29, yes, 29, I think, they uh, sign an agreement, the Christ fire to, to, in order to gain their freedom peacefully. But, uh, but uh, the United Nations, I think they lied or they, they played with them, thinking that they are like a nomadic people, and they don't, uh, they don't uh, know. Well, they they don't. Uh, I think uh, they don't uh, recognize. Don't take the, it serious. Yes, they didn't take it as a serious people who uh, cares about their land is also enough for the illegal exploitation for uh, our natural resources as many European uh, companies did with uh, the Morocco, like Eminem's, no, uh, Siemens, Siemens, I think its name is Siemens and uh, others uh, companies had uh, like uh, agreements with the Moroccan exploiting our uh, natural resources in the occupied zones. And from uh, from here, I ask all uh, all of uh, all of uh, all of you to reduce the suffer of the Sahrawi people by a warning your surroundings. And uh, as a people that believes in the people's right to self determination, uh, I also call on you uh, to recognize the rights of the Sahrawi people to self determination. Because like my people, I think uh, it is enough. 20 years of nothing is enough, I think. And the youth uh, also are fed up. That's why, we, that's why uh, now we, we saw the military school crowded by the youth. They had a career, they had uh, studies to continue, but they cho they cho chosen to uh, like, uh, they chosen the gun over the van because they had fed up of uh, everything. Thank you, I think that's all. <laughs> Thank you, Salma. Uh, uh, we can see that the, those people, well, I think everywhere, the Sahrawi are just frustrated and disappointed by the international community that has missed the chance or the right of the Sahrawi people to self-determination, which means a referendum to decide upon their destiny. Yeah. And up to now, the European countries and the USA and more also Arab countries have not been consequent enough and even participating and enriching themselves through, um, through uh, the Moroccan yeah. occupation, which um, I sent in a link in the chat, the Western Sahara Research Watch, which has made very Invest, uh, investigations on uh, several or many uh, companies, European countries, Germany companies that are involved in, in the exploitation of the Western Sahara territory.